Okay, so this is what people don't understand. Everybody's using this fucking thing wrong, and it is the best fix for fear. If you said, well, you just put the dog in a fucking laboratory and push the pager, gave it food, push the pager, gave it food, push the pager, and gave it food. Pretty soon, you're going to be able to elicit a state of mind with this pager. So that's what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a commonality in all environments. It's linking together. If you said, I don't want it to link it together with the food, then I'd say, don't do it around the same time that you do the food. <laughs> if you don't want to link it to the food, don't do it around the same time you do the food. <laughs> it's that simple. It really, it's scary simple. If you don't want it linked to the food, don't do it around by the same time you do the food. <laughs> or it's gonna get linked. I'm getting this animation for a reason. I don't see anybody else getting it. It's very, it's it's an art to getting hyper animation. If you said, well, this seems to be a reasonably easy way that layman can do. Best I can tell. I mean, I'm not. Using labor intensive methodologies to get this result they're just actually doing it on their own as a byproduct of the bigger picture so anyway but i just didn't get a brushed out this weekend but this dog presented as a very very afraid dog so we have to say afraid is a phys physiological state it's a physio its body is saying defend yourself defend yourself that's what it is if you said that's not what fear is yeah it is <laughs> It's, it's your body saying you need to take a action here or you're in jeopardy. So that's, correcting it isn't going to make that better. I one made the platform a very successful location. Whether I'm there or whether, whatever. It's got the default down. It's going to try to push this dog away though. It's going to be very concerned and it's going to want this dog to leave. You don't see those treats on the ground over there. But if you said it's it is pretty engaged, and it, it's a struggle to get the collar. And that's, if you said that's being the friend, no, that's a strategy to see if she can get it or will go away. If you said because she's guarding you, yeah, <laughs> I'm the mothership. Anyway, I got my 280C. I got my leash on the ground over there. Hang on. If you said they're gonna get mad in a minute. All right, let me get rid of this box. Or hang on. This one's gonna go too. Watch. of it before I try to put the collar on. And I'm gone. Step it off. Step it off. So, if I, oh hi Kristen, if I always push this pager and give the dog food that it wants, even if I didn't intend to link the two things, they're getting linked. So you're saying everything is structured. If I'm the instructor, we have a, you know, we have a lesson plan for the day. We have the day structure. So if you said, what's the, it, this dog has something called a default down. So if the handler sits down or anything, the dog, if you said, you, no, I'm not telling it to do that. It believes it's its own idea. That's why it's going to persist. <laughs> if you said, what about if it's your idea? You have to say to yourself, it's much less likely to persist if it believes that it's my idea then if that's what it wants to do you know i've even you know the way it would stay away before i've even just started you know, my whole thing is move away oh. <laughs> so if you're there sharon i can change the dogs but I'm not even being, I don't want to seem like I'm being sneaky or what, for all this thing knows, I'm looking at these, bar, there's this squirrels in this tree over there like you can't believe. They're falling out of the tree, they're so stupid. It must be the baby ones. That's what always happens. There's a couple juveniles. 
I'm always, you know, I don't, the dog is, you know, as far as I look, it's, it's wrestling with its headphones again. That's what it does all day. <laughs> I'm just ready to be delighted when it does it. I'm not telling it to do anything. Anything that's your own idea is going to be more persistent. It's true. So she saw that hand thing. If you said that was like a command, it wasn't. It was like a, this is what I'm doing. Copycat. Are you, am I wrong, Sharon? Oh, here's what I'm doing. Copycat. If you have little kids, and I do, I feel bad about not being able to have Cheyenne in my life, but I can't have George in my life. But she copied everything I did. What else is the kid gonna do? What other, I, what else is the kid gonna do? The kid copied everything I did. It's, once you get them on that thread of doing it's not even consciously doing it it just it's just mirroring my movements because it's it's looking to be it won't it's so scared of the dark alexis that unless i can get one of the other dogs to go out with it it won't go out there in the dark i have to get oliver i swear to god oliver or one of them to go out there and then she'll go outside if not she just hesitates at the door and won't go out if you said she's scared of the dark, she must be. <laughs> That's the only thing I can figure. She must be scared of the dark. Okay, so it already likes the platform. So look, I'm just going to the square. She said, oh, she's dancing me all over the place. All right, hang on. So remember, we want her, oh. Out of my hands. So I'm doing a terrible job all around her ears and her mouth, all of it awful. Alright, so if you so I want a dog that lays down. I don't want one. <laughs> you said so right away? Yeah, right away. I'm not really good catch. Hang on, hang on. She's about to get a nick for biting at my clothes up. Ah! You're gonna have to get its foot off there first. Giving me the shake off.
It's reflexes just to lay down now, though. Oh. You said she used to bite at our clothes before? No, I believe that. You gotta keep doing it though. I'm gonna get her with the nick if she bites up my clothes. It's my turn. You said, why did I, oh, the collar's buckled all over that other collar. You saw its reaction. I saw rolling around on the ground. Well, if they jump up, if they jump up, if you said, well, what's the opposite of jumping up? Laying down. <laughs> so instead of correcting it for jumping up, you just bias its behavior towards laying down. It's just starting to be a reflex. So instead of its reflex being jumping, it will lay down. But it was a very, very scared dog before. But if you said it's scared, it's not scared of me at all. It needs to be a little scared of me. <laughs> it's not scared of me at all. It's got a very particular way of doing it though. It's the water. It's the water, Mike. It's the water. It's the water. <laughs> it's true. They just came out of the water. She said, stay away from. I can get it on the platform. It's not thinking. I'm acknowledging it every time. I'm not... Okay, Elizabeth, if you're there, this, if you said, so this dog is kind of like Douglas. It's not, it's not doing good with the leash delivery thing. I know. <laughs> no, Douglas is fine. But if you said, how can I do it? The way I originally did it, the original drill was just the leash itself. It wasn't on the dog. So you should revert back to that because it's reasonably easy to take. The way I would do it, I would take the leash. I would like double it, I think, or something like that. So do you see where that's its, oh hi Richard, that's its default behavior. If you said you're telling it to do it, no, I'm rewarding it so much it believes that that's what it wants to do. <laughs> it's, the payoff is, it's, I don't know, it's crazy engagement. You see it, Richard, you see these people. These people have zero engagement with dogs. That's what I tell them. They say dogs have short attention span. You see these protection dogs? They'll keep going after this helper. They've got to put these dogs where they can't even fucking see the guy. Or they'll keep going after the dog until they have a heat stroke. Am I wrong, Richard? They don't just, okay, well, we won't do it anymore. Won't do it anymore. They're going to keep doing it as long as somebody's out there jumping around, acting aggressive, and challenging and threatening. They're going to keep doing it until they have a heat stroke and kill over. If you say, hey, can, oh, that Danny Wells. They killed a couple of them here in Volusia County police dogs training it's true Kristen regardless of what you're training for if somebody said well this isn't what I train for it doesn't matter if you only have 50% engagement you're only able to apply 50% of your skill and if you only have 50% engagement it seems like it might go downhill from there if you're not careful if you're not careful I mean saying to itself on a subconscious level this I, i'm not certainly not afraid of this person He's my best damn friend Yay. it notices it's their internal dialogue Kristen has to be are you kidding me it's that easy like if i said to you listen listen there's this website you just go log on there and then like you give them a thumbs up and they give you five dollars and you it's that uh, yes i promise you it's that easy then you go there and it's, 
But then it's, they sort of twist you into a little next. They got you jumping through hoops. But you don't really realize that. You just think it's still free. You don't mind. Sure, a little jumping is, I already do it. If somebody said, well, now we're going to need you to go on Facebook and hit these likes to get the money. No problem. Where do I go? What website do I go to? And we have to say to ourselves, in order to maintain engagement over a period of time, because if you said, well, we can only train it for 10 minutes a day, yikes. At least 23 hours and 50 minutes where you're possibly killing off your engagement. The default down allows the dog to have a resting period while still maintaining engagement. If you said, well, we got a little kitten one time and our dog laid there just like that and watched the kitten. Yeah, I said, I believe that. I've had that too. <laughs> that one dog, he watched the cat his whole life till he died. He was probably looking at the cat right before he died. If you said barking, is no, no, no. Just staring. Just staring. If you said, what if it moved? Oh, then he stared over there. <laughs> he stared over there. So it is a presupposition. It's a, pre oh, highly, it is a presupposition that the handler is going to move away and moving it out of your eye line. And if you said, well, it's the difference between that and martial arts, you have a presupposition that the opponent is going to come at you. <laughs> so don't let them, so maintain their eye line. <laughs> I'm not looking at the dog. I see it looking at my eyes, but I'm not looking at it. And if you said, what is it? What is its belief? The only belief it could have, and this is what I can say to myself, the only belief it, belief it could have, based on what I've done, is that I'm going to go away. Is that I'm going to go away. So that's why it, any, any movement seems like I'm going away. If you said, well, it seems to be keeping a close eye on you like you're some kind of little kitten. And they have to have this down tempo. If you said, so you can let it rest a minute, get up and do a fast little drill. Yeah, it's gonna learn that way. Instead of, it's over there trying to get the squirrel. I'm trying to jerk it back over here to get it doing some drill that it doesn't wanna do. It's sort of in, it's sort of in the down tempo waiting in the wings. Deactivated neutral state, or they're just gonna burn up all their whole whatever. Then you're not gonna be able to work with them for any length of time. So you have to have, I mean, I've been doing this, I don't know how long. Only for a few years, but I only noticed they started doing it on their own, puppies and stuff. If you just made your hand look like you were laying down too. There was one, the leg kicker. Those German Shepherds do it, and you've seen dogs that bend their paw. I had that one, Barkley, he did the Macarena. If you went like this with your hands, he went like and folded his front legs under. If you said, I don't believe you. Anybody that knows me well enough to know it's all on video. So it, and that's what we have to say to yourself. That's what martial arts is. The presupposition that they're going to come at you. <laughs> that they're going to come at you. It has a, it's making its parking space. If you said, how could you alienate the dog? Constantly keep rubbing and touching its head. It would say to itself, that's not going to happen if I'm not close to it. it if you said, what's its internal internal dialogue? Based on everything I've seen, all oh, this thing does try to get away from me. All it does is just try to get away. That's just giving me a no fail location. It's like me, it's like Norwood. There's this place here where we go to eat, Lee. Oh, it's great food. It's always, it's meet me at Norwood's, meet me at Norwood's. This is meet me at Norwood's. This isn't, time out. It's meet me at Norwood's. We're all gonna have fun, because you're my best friend. Because you're my best friend. I can't stress enough, a platform is just, if you're training companion dogs, if you said why, you need props. You need props. If you said, what do you mean? Yeah, you could pretty much, if you needed a prop, for a restaurant, if you said, just get a chef hat, grab a custard, but put a chef hat on them and stick them in the kitchen. And then when people are there, there's the chef. Oh, based on the prop, based on the hat alone, we're identifying this as a chef. <laughs> so if you said, how is this the same as that? It's the same as that by virtue of, if it's standing by the platform, it must be the handler. 
these people are weak. They just meander. They just, I've never seen people walk with so, you can walk, they, there's a very clear destination. And it's easy to, to direct, if you just tell people, just walk along, walk along. These people meander like that. There's actually not even measurable how slow they're going. So if you said how could, it's most of them, honestly, and I want you guys to try it at home. Most dogs, if you just bend your paw like this, <laughs> bend your arm and exhale through the nose. Said it's, a, it's not afraid of me. I can do the pager watch. <laughs> it thinks I'm speaking to it. It's not saying anything other than based on everything I've seen, the only move it has is to move away or it does move towards that platform. A dog like this, if you tried to move towards it very, very quickly, it's gonna get scared and have a retreat reflex. If you said, what about on the platform? It doesn't have that on the platform. It doesn't have it on the platform. I, I can race it over there. I can be coming up behind it. If you said that skittish dogs like people coming up behind them, not that I've ever seen. I'm, we're going together. There's a togetherness. Lateral movement is your friend. That's why things swim and run side by side, miss that and the other. It's reflexes to lay down. I didn't tell it to do it. You said if you can just wag the tail. You can just wag the tail without the rest of the dog moving. That's what it is. It is. You're not here. You're this fucking thing's coach. You're not hitting the thing. And just the leash pressure is a failed. That's what these charlatans all do. Pressure release. Pressure release. I said, that's not a method. And you're setting yourself up for failure as soon as the leash isn't there. If you said, and then they say work it for 10. So you're working at 10 minutes a day, pressure and releasing this leash. And the other 23 hours and 50 minutes a day, that isn't happening to it. And it's going to say, I want this to happen some more. I don't think so. Anyway, listen, I might have time for a couple more. I'll be right back. But it's, it's the I from the behaviorist viewpoint say the only conclusion that this dog can come to is that I'm gonna move away. And if you said, well, it's just guarding, it's if you, now she's picking the little stickers off my clothing. <laughs> it is sort of, if you said, what does she smell of your hands? If you said it's positioning itself so you don't have too many chances to escape. Not really. If you said, what am I doing? I'm keeping the presupposition up by looking at the door like I'm planning on taking off running like I always do. You have to be able to say from the behavior's viewpoint, the only conclusions that it can come to about me are the ones that I've presented. And I can safely say to you, this dog believes without a doubt that my next move is go away. And that's why it's acting like this. It's not acting like this because I'm telling it to act like this. If you said, get over yourself, it's after the squirrel because it goes away too. I know. If you said, what do you have that the squirrel doesn't have? I have the metronome and I have the actual food. If the squirrel is the representative of the food. Do you see what I'm saying? If the squirrel represents the food, but it never really comes to fruition, even though Talbot, I did pull half of a squirrel out of his mouth one time. <laughs> Eh, it couldn't be that good. There has to be a lot of hair and stuff. Anyway, hang on. Let me get some treats. Cause, well, no, let me just go get a different one. I'm going to work on that in a different episode. But the way I originally did the leash thing was they, the leash wasn't on them. They were just doing the, the delivery to hand. Anyway, I'm going to go get Luna. I'm going to be right back.